Because yeah. I have all this mobility. Absolutely. Okay. Um, next question comes from Twitter, actually. Uh, it's from at Team Legacy Net. Uh, they ask, how much will weapons and armor help hinder the effects of trait builds, if at all? Um, I mean, it's actually fairly significant. Uh, so the armor stuff, I think we talked about it a little bit, but like, you know, it improves the same stats that are improved by traits. Um, so if you want to mid-max more or you want to try and be a little more diverse and not go all toughness, you know, you have some of that into your weapons. Um, and then you have like your uh, sigils, I think they're called, on weapons and runes on armor, which are kind of like sets of things that you can additionally make builds with. I think someone was showing these in one of the beta videos. So basically like every armor set, every piece of armor has a slot for a rune. So you basically make set pieces by getting six of the same rune and filling them, one of them into each of your armor pieces. And then the last one, you know, will give you something really cool. Like uh, there's one that makes you revive people 10% faster once you've got all six pieces in. Okay. Or, you know, there's it's stuff like that. So, you know, you kind of make some, uh, you, you definitely make build decisions based on those as well. Um, but like I said, it starts with like weapons and then you kind of go, okay, how can I complement this with traits and items and, you and major it's, traits? It's and, just a lot of customization really. At the heart. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is one of those things where it's actually overwhelming um, at times, even for us when we made it. And uh, it's the reason why, you know, there's the no more secondaries, the, you know, why are the skills not so crazy complicated? Like we took each of those pieces pared them down to make each system very understandable and fun and interesting so that as you're playing as a new player, you learn how the weapon skills work and that's like your first thing you're introduced to. And when you're competent with that, like you're competent with it and you don't have to worry about it and then you can start to learn another system and another one and another one. And they're probably, you know, weapons and then utilities and then traits and then items and then item bonuses. And then once you've learned all these systems, then you feel like you, okay, we made you slowly learn each one of them. And then the really, really, really intricate strategy is actually between A, how they interact and how you use them in a fight, you know? Yeah, so, so it's not so overwhelming at first, but really as you get deeper and deeper into it, you realize just how much choice you have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, how much uh, how much time do we have left, actually? Are you, you got, got a f time for a few more non-professions and Yeah, we have time for a few more. Okay, okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, let's talk about the pet AI. Uh, Forum Lurker actually asked, there have been concerns that the pet AI might be a potential problem for rangers. Is this a valid yeah. concern, or is the pet AI or pet control polished at this point? So, if you watch videos, it's a valid concern, because in the, right before the last... times when it was really, really good and really fun, and we just never have it there when we actually show it. So hopefully this next weekend we'll give people a better idea of what it's actually going to play like. Um, oh. Uh-oh. got a little bit of lag. Is that we're maybe losing the connection? I don't know. Oh, it's bad. Seems good. I can hear you. The, the video is just not moving too well. It says that the connection is not good enough for, for video and it's audio only would be better, but I don't know. Well, if we can still um, hear you, let's keep talking and then we'll try. All right, well, we'll keep talking. So, so basically, um, you know, we made them better at following now and better at kind of responding, but then we broke their in-combat responsiveness and then that's actually being fixed right now. So I think like this next couple of rounds of testing, as people see, like they're going to be completely viable. It's just... You know, this is one of those things that's like, why the, why isn't the game out? Like, let me have the game. Yeah. It's like, well, we want pets to be ready. Like, we need everything to be ready. <coughs> so. Okay. Um, another question from Forum Lurker, then. Uh, he, he was concerned about the lack of player-to-player -player trading. Uh, what are the reasons for this? And is the auction house replacing all player trading? Is the mail the only way to transfer items to your friends? Um, so... We actually, you know, we went through this a lot back and forth, and we basically decided we have this mail system, and we want people to be able to just use it anywhere. And as soon as we did that, it became like this much more secure way of trading because no one can trick you with what they're sending you in a mail and then pull it back and then hit submit or whatever. Like, it's just a mail, right? Like, it just goes. And so 
uh, we basically have, um, we decided like, okay, like if this mail system, it's like the equivalent of trading only, I don't actually even need to be next to the guy. So it's like trading plus, right? And then we're like, well, why would we have trading and mail thing when mail does everything that trading does, but it also lets you do it to like, Someone who's in a different map. That's true. Right? So, okay. Um, and so that at that point we're like, let's stop focusing on the trade thing. Like, make the mail thing as polished as we can, and you know, ship with that. Okay. Okay. Um, got time for a few more still? We're still good. Uh, yeah. I mean. Okay. Yeah, a couple more. A couple Just, more. I mean, yeah. Go ahead and go for it. I'm we'll almost out. I'm almost out. As quick as we can. <laughs> Uh, Gay in Prayer, or Guy in Prayer, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, is, uh, he asks, is the underwater content as fleshed out as the land content to the point that someone could live or at least do most of their leveling underwater? Um, I'm not sure if you would want to do most of it, just because it's, uh, you know, it's nice to experience different stuff, but someone could do most of their leveling by, you know, rescuing watermelons from rabbits if they want to. Yeah. It's just that if you really love it, you'll be able to spend tons of time down there. There's, it's as fleshed out as any other content. It's just more like a quarter of the space, right? So, you know, it's just about volume at that point. Good luck trying to level through, only through water, basically. <laughs> it would take a long uh, time. No, I mean, I think you totally can. It's just whether or not you want to experience... The, like. To me, like, I just see something happening on the land. This is a whole event system thing. I don't want to just, you're not just going to stay underwater. Like, you're going to go see what that interesting thing is rather than uh, just stay there. Like, I don't, I don't begrudge anyone who wants to stay there the whole time. I'm sure if they're having fun, they can keep having fun. But, like, I just feel like just, I also, same thing for, like, why would you want to play the whole time on the land? If, that, if your map has a lot of water on it, like, go under there. Of course. If you want to, uh, you know, it's just that. Plus, there's a certain fun to like shooting out mines underwater that spike out and attack people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got a question about uh, from Vasansky about uh, one versus one duels. He says, "Is there going to be a way to invite someone to a one-on-one -on -one duel, someplace like a training ground or an arena where you can practice PvP with friends?" Okay. Yeah. So we've said a little. I'll answer like the for people who haven't heard our real answer, which is there's not going to be dueling, like, you know, click on a guy and duel right at ship. Um, we like, we'd like to be able to have it at some point, but one thing you can do, and this is kind of what we do, is because our servers are, you know, just these, like, constantly running hot joint servers, like, there's a server with no one on it. It's like, hey, let's go to that one. It's empty. We just go there. We don't kick off, like, the game starting, and we just go to pick some place to go, and we kind of fight, and it's actually in a more... Uh, like this is a PvP server, so like a more real environment, right, where it's like this map has been laid out and it's got cover and, you know, got all the things that make it have a good places to have these duels anyway. So we do a lot of our, like, test dueling in by doing that. Because um, you don't really need a system to do it then. Right. So you don't need a system, but I think a system is still cool for, you know, if you want to do it in PvE or you want to, like, just you're out in the world, and if people want to do that, like I feel like if they really want to, like we should try and support it. But we're not doing it for release. So. Okay. Okay. Well, one one last question, and it's uh, kind of a loaded one. It's from Facebook. A guy named Aiden Puccio asked, uh, "Why on earth is the collector's edition one hundred and fifty dollars?" I I mean I can show you why. It's right here. This is why it's dollars. I don't know if you. Oh, move it even closer. Oh no! Of course we lose the connection right then, don't we? No! Okay. Everybody, hang tight. We're going to call John right back, okay? Just stand by. I want it noted that my connection is strong. <laughs> All right, he's back. All right, here he's you go. Back. Hold on. There you guys go. have a video? Look at that. The video's there. That's our so sign. This, That's this our is the thing. The collector's edition is not about, you know, making people pay more. It's about, you know, rewarding people for being fans and things that they are actually uh, excited about, you know? So, 
Like, here, let me just show you if I move the camera. Oh no, that might break the internet again. This is how detailed this thing is. Um, it's huge. <laughs> like, I don't know, does anyone have a reference scale? This is a this is an iPhone. And this is Ritlock. <laughs> right? Like, he's huge. And he's and, uh, solid gold. Th that collector's edition isn't about making more money. It's about rewarding people that want to have, like, this cool stuff. that show Like, here's, like, the detail on his armor. I mean, it's just staggering. That's so, crazy. Um, and, like, this awesome sword, right? With the dragon mouth. Like, it's just cool. And uh, so, to me, like... That's what the, the collector's edition is about. It's not about making extra money on some expensive yeah. selling thing. It's about people getting something cool because they are fans and they want to have it. Absolutely. I mean, we're just charging them for the cool thing we're giving them, not for ex just to charge them extra. It's not even. It's not even for the books or the music or anything else. It's for that awesome statue, really. Right. And yes, he does have a fiery dragon sword. I saw that on the on the yeah the OMG fiery dragon sword. Yeah. And somebody oh, wants, the dragon somebody sword wants them to attack Emil too because they saw him that briefly there. <laughs> yeah. Run away! Run away! Okay, um, well, I mean, that wraps up all the questions. I know you've actually, you would probably like to go make the game so that we could all play it. Um, I want to yeah. thank you, John, for taking the time yeah. out and, and talking with us today. And I want to thank all of the viewers at MMORPG.com right now uh, who are watching this and who submitted questions. We'll try to do yeah. another one as soon as possible. Uh, but thank you, John Peters. Oh, no, thank you, guys. It was a pleasure. Um, so, yeah. Anything yeah. you want to say to these guys before we cut? Yeah, I'll say thanks to everyone, and uh, like we are working hard. Like I said, we were working on balance till four in the morning the other day. Like we are working hard. We are trying to make this game as good as it can be. And as you all know, you're going to be able to get it soon. So that means at least you know start buying it soon and start getting into those betas. So all right. That's great. Yeah. Um, everybody, for those of you who kept getting ads or disconnected or didn't get sound, we did record the whole thing. I'll get it up on YouTube and on MMO as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll talk to yeah, you I'll soon. Yeah, I'll let you guys end by Ritlock eating oh, your faces. There we go. Zoom right in. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. I like the you. eyes. Thank you very much. I'm going to yeah. disconnect that now before Ritlock kills everybody. Yeah. Yeah, he actually, when we, right when we brought him on screen, he... Broke the internet, so. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one.